Handguns have been illegal in the UK since 1996, but the demand for them is very high by the criminal underworld. This results in people acquiring them from abroad in order to sell them on the streets to gang members who will use them to settle rival gang disputes. In 2019 and 2020, Salford had a third of all of Greater Manchester shootings and there were 74 shootings they believe were carried out by 17 different people as it was reported at the time. And due to the severity of the shootings and the amount of violence, the police launched a lot of investigations to try to find out who was supplying these guns and also the ammunition that means that people can get away with these sorts of crimes. The police discovered an organised crime group that were found to be in possession of firearms that had been converted into lethal weapons and they have been jailed for a total of 98 years following the investigation. They were supplying the Rite handguns which are a very popular Turkish handgun that they can easily convert once it comes to the UK. The investigation was codenamed Rivington and it was part of Greater Manchester Police's aim to tackle the supply of firearms. The police determined the leader of the group was Nathan Godfrey from the Barnsley area and originally from Salford. He was found in possession of Rite firearms and they were blank firing and had been converted to fire live rounds. And they caught them transferring firearms across the country in order to supply other gangsters. On the 27th of January 2020, the group made a 150 mile round trip from Hammer Hempstead that was driven by Sebastian Benjamin. A VW Golf was driven by Michael McDonough and they were all from the local area. The passenger was Stuart Nicholson and he was from Grantham and he pulled up to the boot of a car in Rains Lee Lane in Oldham and two men got out and exchanged a loaded handgun and put it into a BMW. Armed police then pursued and stopped the vehicle on Cavendish Road in Ashton upon Line and seized the firearm. It was found that the gun was originally a Rite gun and had been converted. And three rounds of ammunition was in the gun and another 11 rounds of ammunition was in a sock in a carrier bag in the boot of the car. The firearm sale had taken place near the address of a man called Headley Brown and just before the vehicles left the scene, Brown was seen coming out of his home address and approaching the Gulf, leaning into the side and then he walked away. He took out a mobile phone, removed latex gloves and walked into a nearby pub. An hour later, the police searched Brown's home address and the exact same make and model of gun was found in the boot of the BMW. And inside the address, they also found 18 rounds of ammunition. And following further inquiries, it was found that Brown had been in communication with Godfrey using WhatsApp over a week. And they was arranging the transfer of the firearm and also ammunition. The police then began to arrest other members of the group and McDonough was arrested at a service station in Queensway, Hamel Hempstead on the 18th of March 2020 and Nicholson was arrested in Lincolnshire on the 11th of April 2020. The police learned that the group had used unregistered phones and got rid of the phones after they did the exchange. The defendants then went on to say that they hid for a number of months after to try to evade the police and that one of them was found in a flat in Salford Keys. They also discovered fake ID and the police found an exchange of messages between the team after the conspiracy had been revealed. Godfrey was found guilty of conspiracy to transfer a firearm and was sentenced to 14 years in prison on the 15th of July 2021. And detectives searched their phones and found that Godfrey would speak to Ryan Cotton very often and he was from North Yorkshire. Ryan Catton was found guilty of conspiracy to transfer a firearm and jailed for 13 years. Lee Nicholson pled guilty to conspiracy to transfer a firearm. Headley Brown pled guilty to transferring a firearm and endangering life with ammunition. Also possession of Class B drugs and Class A drugs and was jailed for 13 and a half years. Michael Madonna pleaded guilty to possession of a firearm and ammunition and was jailed for 7 years and 2 months. Stuart Nicholson pled guilty to possession of a firearm and also ammunition and was jailed for 5 years. Craig Steenan pled guilty to conspiracy to possess a firearm and also cocaine and was jailed for 16 years. Cody Hurley was guilty of possession of a firearm and also ammunition and was jailed for 7 and a half years. And finally Peter Locker pled guilty to possession of a firearm with ammunition and also cocaine with intent to supply and was jailed for eight years and three months. McDonough was only sentenced this month on the 7th of March 2022 and everybody else was sentenced last year. 
The detective in charge of the case said, this was a very sophisticated group and they operated around the country, moving firearms and also making sure that they made it to the streets of Greater Manchester. The proactive work and investigation led to these men being taken off the streets and the dangerous guns being recovered, never to be used again. So I thought this was a really interesting story about the way that guns make their way onto the street and also what police are doing to try to stop it. So I really appreciate you joining me today. Please don't forget to follow me online as well at Scar City Studios, on Instagram, on TikTok, Twitter and Facebook. And I'll be back again very shortly with some more news. Peace.